I have recently started reading about the Precision Time Protocol, and in this video I wanted to give a quick overview of its main attributes. The protocol is commonly known by its acronym, PTP. And it is an official IEEE standard. Specifically, it has been standardized in the IEEE 1588 standard. As of early 2015, two versions of the standard have been published. The first version was published in 2002. The second version was published in 2008. The second version supersedes the previous one and it is not backwards compatible. Okay, so now we know that the precision time protocol is known as PTP and that it is standardized in the IEEE 1588 standard. But what exactly is PTP? Well, PTP is a clock synchronization protocol. And what is a clock synchronization protocol? Pretty simple. Imagine we have a bunch of computers, each with its own clock. And the computers are interconnected by a network. A clock synchronization protocol is then nothing more than a specification of the messages that the computers should exchange in order for them to synchronize their clocks. PTP is then basically a specific way of doing this. Okay, um, let's now proceed talking about um, the specific features of PTP. First of all, PTP has been designed to work on top of local area networks and not wide area networks such as the internet. Second, it has been designed with industrial control, measurement and automation applications in mind. Third, it has been designed to synchronize clocks that may vary in their quality, such as their resolution and stability. Fourth, PTP can work on top of different protocols. It's usually used on top of Ethernet, but other protocols are possible as well. A cool feature of PTP is that it is completely administration free. So, no setup is required by a person, such as a network administrator, in order to make it work. All you need is for a set of computers to be interconnected by a network and to be running the PTP protocol. From there onwards, PTP initializes automatically and then starts synchronizing the clocks of the different computers. Another feature of PTP is that it has low resource requirements. This means that PTP not only functions on top of computers such as a PC or laptop that you may have at home, but also on top of small microcontrollers. It also means that the amount of network bandwidth it requires is very low. Finally, something that is a bit of a pity is that PTP requires specific hardware to achieve high precision. So. For instance, computers that want to synchronize require network interface cards that provide hardware support for PTP. Moreover, network devices such as switches also require PTP-specific hardware. Without such hardware, the precision in PTP is not so good. But with the appropriate hardware, PTP achieves sub-microsecond precision. This is good enough for most industrial control measurement and automation applications.